Silver 91, 93. Yeah, okay. World Championships in Tokyo and Stuttgart. Stuttgart, yeah. yeah. I was there in Stuttgart and, and watched then, this game. Uh, oh, this yeah. So I was there. Yeah. yeah. Maybe you saw me sprinting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah and, then, and then 92 Olympics, I won the silver medal in the Olympics. Yeah. Uh -huh. So those were basically the highlights of my career. So when I, left, I came back, I wanted to spend time with my family. Mm -hmm. You know, this business of moving up and down, so it's costly. So yeah. in the end, uh, like my son, my first one now is first year in the university. Mm -hmm. Jesus, so, is it? Yeah. Oh, we don't look. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, that, that that was for private reasons that I decided uh, I retired at, at that stage. Mm -hmm. so I wanted to spend more time with uh, young people. Growing up. So that's it. That's um, my running. Uh, yeah, <laughs> how you decide to become the coach? Because now you, you actually the coaching. Now, from 1995, mm -hmm. uh, somebody asked me, okay, I was already training as some youngsters. Oh, you already trained? Yeah, yeah. As, as, because they were tra following, you know, like you said, you know, to a model. The mentors. Where, where, you know, you are developing. Right. And they follow the line of the, the elite. Okay, good. So some good. guys were already following me. This is very natural. So, so I mean, I yeah. said, hey, why not, why not uh, share what I know? Mm -hmm. So I shared what I knew, what I knew then, and, and in the end, I had a guy run a world record in the stipulations. They ran, <laughs> I ran. You coached them, actually, in, and, in and the end of the day. And he beat me, and he ran a world record. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in the same race, I was number three. You was the coach, was coach, the coach three, yeah. and you were athlete <laughs> running. You were running the same race, and he beat you. He beat me, and he ran a world record. Well, yeah. That's great stuff. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> must have pushed him too much. To, to, to so, to who was who was that? Uh, uh, Bennett Parmasai. Parmasai. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Good. 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 Oh, it was, in, it was in Cologne in 1997. Uh huh. It's the year before I retired. Before I retired. Right. So this thing came. And I, I realized actually, by the time I retired, there were so many people following, yeah, following me. Mm -hmm. So uh, in 2000, John Wilson from RDC, yes. uh, they gave me a wild card to train as a level two coach. Uh -huh. you know, normally you go through different levels. Three, three different levels. No, no, there, there, there are two levels before that level. Ah, okay. So the ah, guy right. said, ah, no, this guy has done a lot in athletics. Yes. Let me give him a wild card. So they called me. Strike, strike on that level. Yeah. So yeah. they called me. Yeah. Said, uh, because of your experience and your level of education, we want to take you straight to this level. So I went there. It was difficult, of course, it was tough. Mm -hmm. But in the end, I, I, I qualified. Yeah. I was actually, I ended up being the top one of, of my class. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's how I got now a real coaching experience. <laughs> yeah. The other one was from yeah. coaching myself in my, my event. But this one she now... coach yeah. you by yourself? Yes. Oh, okay. Really? Yes. And I also managed myself until I retired. <laughs> Mr. Universe. <laughs> Mr. Universe. <laughs> no, really yeah, interesting. So right? You must be disciplined to do that. No, it absolutely. Takes, yeah, absolutely. Some uh, level uh -huh. of education to be disciplined. Yeah. But you know, there, there are some people also. You know, you cannot do it on your own. It's a, a, the, the organizer, the president of the organization of world class at the Zurich meeting. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's called Race Poker. Uh -huh. I met him in 1990, and uh, he actually somehow he was interested in sharing with me. And he said, Ah, you know, we have a club here. We want uh, to give you an opportunity to train with our club. Uh -huh. So for a long time I was based in Switzerland. Uh -huh. You know, so I went there. I said, you know, what can you give me as a club? The guys said, you know, we, we are a big organization. That time he was the president of a reinsurance fund. Switzerland, the biggest reinsurance fund. Okay. Swiss Re. Uh huh. I said, yeah, you know, we we'll just give you whatever we can give you, but in a small way. Uh -huh. So I was based in Switzerland for so many years. Uh -huh. Only in summer. Doing so from May to September. Mm -hmm. So I ran for the club. So those people gave me a lot of.